Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be a review of some of my hair care products and how I keep my hair healthy and how I've been trying to grow it out. And then I'm gonna go ahead and show you some of my favorite shoes from my shoe collection that I have. Today I wanted to do a hair care like product review of like some of my favorite hair care products that I like to use. Um, so I'm going to start off with some of my Dyson products that I like to use because I know Dyson is a bit pricey. So you might be wondering if you feel like it's worth spending the money on. So I wanted to share my opinion on some of my products that I've been using. I've been using the Dyson Corral for about six months now. Um, so this is the hair straightener. It's really compact so you can open it and close it and it's, it's a little heavy. It is a heavy, heavier straightener but the cool part about this is um, it has a magnetic charging station right here so you can just go ahead and plug it in here to charge it so that it has power or it can be cordless and then you will plug this magnetic cord into the charging station and then when you're done using it I'm dropping everything wow. I could really use a stand um, but let me see if I can show you guys but anyways, this bottom part connects here and you can charge it. <laughs> so that was wonderful. Um, so I wanna go ahead and share my thoughts on this straightener. So this straightener has the, um, the gold plated barrels so that when you pull down on your hair, it's supposed to be less heat damage and um, it's not it's like helps with I don't know I, I sometimes struggle with hair straighteners like when you pull down it like kind of like pulls down on your hair kind of leaves some of those skid marks this one goes down really smoothly um, and the triple barrel action is supposed to help you kind of have more control over the hair so if you wanted to tuck it or if you wanted to flip it or if you wanted to curl it um, however so the straightener is really great um, I really do like it um, I feel like it's helped with less heat damage to my hair. I think in my last Dyson picture that I took before this, my hair was like right above, right, right, right above my boot pretty much. Now it's like below. I naturally have really um, fine, thin hair. So I think that just comes with being like a blonde and hereditary, it's hereditary for sure. So that's that on that. Next up, I wanted to share my Dyson Supersonic Hair Dryer. I love this hair dryer. I would never use another hair dryer from here on out. Like this is the only hair dryer I'll ever use or spend money on. I've had this for two years now and I feel like it has made such a difference in my hair when it comes to the shine, the frizz, the texture of it. I used to have real, I mean, I still do have dry, fine hair, but I feel like this really helps with the dryness. It is a little heavy, but it, worth it to me because I like to invest in my hair. I want it to be as healthy as possible. Um, it's ultra fast drying. You can change the settings right here to how hot you want it to be. Um, I keep mine, mine on medium, so I don't like it super hot because I just don't like to like try to burn off my hair. But this is also supposed to help with less heat damage and you can style your hair with this um, magnetic thing that comes on and off. And this will help you style your hair if you want to get that nice blowout. Next up is my curling iron. So I use the Hot Tools Professional Curling Iron in a one and a half inch barrel, I believe, or one and one fourth. Um, I don't have the Dyson um, Air Wrap. I really would like to get that and try it out. Um, I've heard really great things about it, but um, for now, I like to just naturally curl my hair with my curling iron. Um, so I use this one. I've been using this one since high school super affordable not sure how good it is for your hair but i try to only style my hair one to two times a week so i really try to avoid putting heat to it um, just in general so this one is great i like this size barrel so that i can get more of that beachy wave i do have a one inch barrel of the hot tools one it's purple also great when you're trying to get tighter curls i hardly ever use that one anymore but i used to use it a lot Next up, I have some of my hair care products that I wanted to share with you. Um, so I use this seven second detangler from Unite after the shower when I'm styling my hair. So this is like a leave-in conditioner when styling your hair. 
um, and, it's, and it's a heat protectant too, so it will help with that. Um, and I like that it helps make my ends of my hair nice and soft and smooth and conditioned. Um, so I think this is really great. Also smells really good and easy to style your hair after using. It's not like thick or like coarse, like trying to style your hair with that. And then on days that I'm also styling my hair, I like to use my Unite Blonde Oil. So this is for blondes. Um, I naturally, again, have thin, fine hair so um, and dry, especially living here in Vegas. So I really like to add this oil to the ends of my hairs to give it that shine um, when styling my hair. When I'm not styling my hair, when I get in the shower and I just get out and let it air dry, I like to put this in. It's whey leave-in conditioner. This is amazing. It smells really, really good. So I will put this in right after the shower, comb through my hair, and then I just leave it in. I kind of spray it on half from here down, and I just like lay it on. I lather it. As you can see, I use a ton of this stuff. And then before bed at night, I like to put this on my hair. I never use this when I'm styling my hair. My hairdresser actually said it could be more damaging than it could be helpful because the heat added to this can damage your hair. So I like to use the Moroccan Oil Light. This is for fine, light colored hair. Um, so the other one is just the regular Moroccan Oil. It is a little heavy. Um, so I like this because I do have light and fine hair. So this is perfect for me. This smells amazing. Um, I'm, I always put this in every single night before bed, even when I've styled my hair and I know I'm not gonna be touching it up with heat again throughout the few days that I'm not washing my hair, I will put this on every night and my hair just soaks it up. Um, so that's a few of my hair care products that I love to use. Oh, shampoo and conditioner, let me grab that really quick. <clears throat> this is the shampoo and conditioner that I like to use, the Olaplex. You guys have probably heard of it, amazing. It is a little bit expensive, but totally worth it. Smells really good and the um, conditioner is like nice and moisturizing, so highly recommend this. I'm gonna share a few of my favorite shoes from my shoe collection. My boyfriend liked to say that I have a collection of shoes. When it comes to shoes, it's like my favorite thing to splurge on. I absolutely love shoes. I don't know what, other, what else to say other than shoes. Oh my gosh, shoes. Um, so I'm gonna share some of my favorite shoes with you guys. Um, I have them all lined up here, ready to talk about each pair. And um, let's get started. All right, so I think I'll start with sandals. Um, so I have these Dolce Vita sandals in sky blue. They have the studs here, the square toe, and then the studs around the heel here. Super cute, they wrap around the ankle. Absolutely love this color for spring, summer. Super cute. Up next, these are Steve Madden studded sandals. They also wrap up around the ankle. Love the studded details around as well. This toe is rounded. Perfect to wear with shorts, jeans, dresses, all around a great sandal. Comfortable too. And then I got these denim Dolce Vita ones. These are a chunky heel and I absolutely love the color of these. I love that denim style and the braided straps. Um, super comfortable if you're looking for a great pair of sandaled heels. I highly recommend checking out Dolce Vita. And then over here I have the Dolce Vita rhinestone sandal. As you can see, I've worn these quite a bit. I wore them out. Um, but the strap kind of just um, goes around the foot here. Really light and dainty. Love the heel on these. As you can, These have been worn a lot. Um, they match everything. So highly recommend Dolce Vita for some sandals with some heels. Next, I'll move on to sneakers. So this is where it probably is kind of going to get a little pricier because I have my Golden Goose sneakers here. They're supposed to look a little worn and like um, vintage-y. So they have the glitter here, the cheetah glitter. I wanted something like a little obnoxious when I got my Golden Gooses. So that's why I picked the cheetah sparkles. Absolutely love these shoes. They are a little bit like wider. So um, if you wanted to tighten up the laces, I think that would be cute too, but I can just slide these right on. And yeah, definitely worth it. Um, golden Gooses are really comfortable. Up next, I have my Valentino sneakers. I wanted these because they had the number 11 on them. And it's obviously one of my favorite numbers. And ironically enough, when I got them, I had met Ola and at the time his number was 11. So it just felt right. 
Um, so these are so cool. The bottoms have like the studs on them as well. And the studs have stayed so well. They are also kind of a bulkier sneaker. So you, you have to kind of tighten them up to fit, but I love the like white details on studded details on the back as well. Next are these Gucci sneakers. I absolutely loved the flower detail on these ones. Um, the bottom is super cool on these, super comfortable. By far the most comfortable sneakers I own. Highly, highly recommend if you're gonna pick any from these options, go with the Gucci ones. They're gonna last you forever. These are more of like a summertime shoe. A summertime shoe. I saw these on Pinterest and I just like had to have them. Um, so these are the Chanel Espadrilles, um, very cute, very comfortable. They slide right on. They match everything perfect for summer dresses. Highly recommend these if you've been wanting to purchase these. Up next are boots. So these are Matisse coconuts boots. So these are a red kind of cowboy boot. I've always wanted a red pair of boots. So absolutely love these ones. These are for like, you know, special occasions. You don't wear these too often um, and they don't really match everything, but I loved the style of them. They have like kind of like a snake skin type feel look to them. And then they're red, of course. And I liked the black trim on them versus like a, a like wood trim. And then lastly, I have these Fendi combat boots. These were new season for 2021 wore these in sweden all the time with leggings so cute so comfortable i got the black and gray they have the tan and black ones just all around a great boot and i love that they're kind of like a sock combat boot and then i keep these in here to keep the shape but yeah um this is just a small small portion of my shoe collection i i love shoes um so maybe someday i can go ahead and show you guys it's i'm just super messy down there but go ahead and show you my whole shoe collection <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching this youtube video i hope you enjoyed it if you liked it please put a thumbs up on this video and don't forget <laughs> well can't speak don't forget to like subscribe and comment on this video and follow us on our podcast too at twinning at life